Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We join you today from the OSU Research Station at Lahoma to talk a little bit about this year's wheat crop that's been getting in the ground the last few weeks with Jeff Edwards, our small grains extension specialist. And, and Jeff, talk a little bit about what you and the colleagues are doing out here at these Lahoma plots. Well, this is one of our larger locations and we've expanded this year. Last year we had around 30 wheat varieties at this location that we tested. This year we're up to over 40 varieties and we're going to do this same routine at around 24 locations around the state, carry them throughout the year and harvest next May and report the results. So you're getting the seed in the ground, getting all ready, um, which is really indicative of what producers around the state are doing right now. And the con conditions with the rains we've had lately, pretty good. Conditions are pretty good in most of the state. Uh, the guys in, in Major County might argue with that. They seem to have missed out on a lot of the rainfalls that we've had. But, but overall, we're in pretty good shape. We, uh, we're planting. It's, it's mid-October. It's perfect time to be planting grain-only wheat. Some of the wheat that was planted a little bit earlier in the year back in September has, has emerged, uh, but we're a little bit behind schedule in terms of the wheat that emerged uh, for dual purpose purposes. And let's talk about that dual purpose wheat and, and some of the concerns that you might have or might be hearing from producers. It, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing that we got the wheat in in, in September and that it, it did emerge, but we were a little bit behind schedule and, and the wheat is small and if we were still in mid-September, we would be in good shape but we're in mid-October, there's not a lot of time if we have a normal winter for that wheat to grow and catch up. So I do think we'll have wheat pasture in the state of Oklahoma, but I don't think it's going to be plentiful. Uh, unless we have an extremely warm winter, wheat pasture could be kind of tight this year, even though there are a lot of acres that went in the ground just due to growth. And we don't like to talk about weeds always, but we really need to. What are some of the things that you are keeping an eye on? Well, one thing that I'm keeping an eye on is ALS resistant ryegrass and Italian ryegrass with multiple forms of resistance now. Uh, Axial XL has been our go-to product for ALS resistant ryegrass, which most of our ryegrass in Oklahoma is ALS resistant. But the problem is that we now have ryegrass showing up in northeast Texas and in Arkansas that is resistant to Axial XL. So that means that our days could be numbered in Oklahoma and using that product to control Italian ryegrass. Still effective right now, so the key is to clean up those fields while that product is still effective, get those weeds sprayed when they're small, which means a fall application in most circumstances. Wait till they emerge, but for any weed, it's so important to kill those weeds when they're small, and that means a fall application. Okay, and then other management advice in terms of nitrogen application, we got keep that in the loop as well? well? We do. This is the time of year where our producers need to be putting out those nitrogen-rich strips. That's such a great tool for us to use to estimate our nitrogen needs in the spring, but it requires a little bit of forethought, and those nitrogen-rich strips need to be going out in October, November, maybe into December, but really we're entering the prime time to get those out there in the field. Okay, and we mentioned the variety trials. You're getting things set up you have a way for producers to kind of track that and, and see the progress that you're making? We, we do. Uh, as the variety trials are planted, we will post the variety, variety trial plot map on our website. And these plots will have uh, signs in them in the spring to identify the different varieties. But a lot of producers like to see them as they're emerging and keep an eye on them in the fall. The way they can do that is just go to our website and download the plot map and they can see what every plot is, is planted to and evaluate those varieties throughout the year. Okay, Jeff Edwards, our small grains extension specialist, good information. And for a link to those variety trials, just go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.